everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. And today's video, we're gonna be talking about five different accident prevention tips that you can use when it comes to driving a tractor trailer. And some of these tips might even use for the car. Now, why is this even important? Accident prevention is super, super important because when you have a CDL license, you get paid to transport products from point A to point B. And as long as you actually are able to transport that product safely without zero accidents, your pay continues to go through the roof. However, if you, the more accidents you get, the less your pay is gonna get, and eventually you can even get kicked out of the job and eventually the industry. So we wanna make sure that these five techniques are something that you really take to heart, and it can prevent you from making big mistakes and also help you make a whole lot of money in the future. So let's get started. Technique number one is going to be making sure that you have proper inspections done. So the pre-trip inspection and the air brake test is something that we teach our students here at Driving Academy on how to make sure you do that properly, one, it's going to be part of the CDL road test that they have to pass, but two, should be something that's done every single day. The main reason is, as long as you're monitoring your vehicle and you know exactly what's going on with the safety equipment of your vehicle, then you can reduce the amount of accidents and reduce the risks on the road itself. If you don't do your air brake test one day, and all of a sudden you're driving down the road and you notice that you have a massive air leak, you're going 60 miles an hour down the road, a hose busts out because you never actually did the inspection, what winds up happening, all the air leaves out of the air tanks and boom, the brakes pop up and lock up on you. So now all of a sudden you're going from 60 miles an hour to screeching your brakes, skidding all over the place. You can get the cars behind you to hit you, you can hit the cars in front of you, and it can be in a tremendous mess unless you actually do your inspection. Now of course, is that rare? Yes, but if you do your inspection every single day, that's gonna be pretty much non-existent and you can actually keep your job and keep making money. Because the main thing that you have to understand is as a truck driver, you make money when those wheels are turning. If those wheels stop turning, you stop making money. And that's gonna be tip number one. Tip number two is going to be mastering defensive driving techniques. Now, there's really two techniques that you have to master when it comes to defensive driving. Technique number one is gonna be following distance. Now, if you've heard us before, there's actually a formula to actually calculate your following distance. And the way you calculate it is, say you're driving, you can do it in your car or in your truck, whatever it is, and you're driving, and all of a sudden the vehicle in front of you crosses like a telephone pole. You wanna start counting seconds. So one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000. And when you actually get to that pole yourself, that's how far of a fallen distance you actually have between you and the car in front of you. So the way the formula actually works is if you're going less than 40 miles an hour, you're gonna have one second for every 10 feet of your vehicle. So if you have a 50 foot vehicle and you're going 35 miles an hour, you should have at least five seconds of following distance, which means once the car passes in front of that telephone pole, you should start counting one Mississippi, two Mississippi, get to five, and then you should actually hit your front bumper at that same exact spot, five or more, right? So you always wanna be safe. If you're going faster than 40 miles an hour, then you have to add an extra second. So if that same 50 foot vehicle is going 41 miles an hour, then you have to go five seconds for the 50 feet and then adding one, so that's a total of six seconds for the following distance. The more following distance you have, much safer it's gonna be for you to avoid any accidents because you can't control any of the vehicles around you, you can just control yourself. So if you give yourself enough space to stop, you should be good to go. And then the second defensive driving technique that you have to master is going to be making sure you're always scanning around your surroundings. So making sure that your head is always on a swivel and moving back and forth and checking out those mirrors. Because if you know what actually is around you, if an accident does happen or an emergency does happen, you know exactly how to react because you're a professional. Driving a truck is not just holding the steering wheel and looking straight. You actually have to be responsible for those around you because you are a professional. And if you take that to heart, you are gonna be the one who's gonna get paid the most money and make sure that you stay alive for you and your family all day long. Tip number three is gonna be managing fatigue and driver wellness. Now, driving for a long time, you might start seeing something like this. Uh, now, that is a super scary thing, especially when you're driving an 80,000 pound vehicle. They actually put a lot of regulations in place to try to prevent drivers from overdriving or driving when they're sleeping because I've heard crazy stories. I mean, my dads and my uncles used to tell me crazy stories where they were driving, they're pushing the limits of the bodily functions that they can actually do, and all of a sudden they would be driving down the road, fall asleep, and wake up in the middle of a field with cows all over them. 
great thing that they never ran over one of those cows, but that was super, super scary and definitely a wake-up call. So understanding how to handle your body is going to be super important to preventing actual accidents. That being said, make sure you get the proper sleep. They say eight to seven hours of sleep is going to be necessary, so make sure you're planning accordingly, right? The other thing is going to be what are you actually putting into your mouth? Are you putting a bunch of processed junk food into your mouth that your body can't really turn into fuel or into energy? It's just going to be empty calories. And then you're going to have this syndrome called the no ass syndrome. And what does that mean? You're going to be sitting all day, eating all this junk, empty calories. Your ass is going to disappear and it's going to move right to your belly. I'm sure you guys have seen truck drivers or other people who have the no ass syndrome. At the end of the day, if you're making all this money being a trucker and you don't have the health to kind of sustain it, you really have no freedom either. And we want you to be free. So understanding uh, your sleep, understanding what you eat, and the third and final thing is understanding your movement. Now a lot of the time you're going to be inside the truck and driving, so that means it's super, super important that you get out of the truck any chance that you get when you're doing an inspection, fueling, or at the docks, and actually move your legs, get the whole body moving. The body was built to move, and when you go back thousands and thousands of years, that's what we were doing. We were hunters and gatherers, we weren't sit sitters and squatters. That being said, if you take care of your body, it's going to take care of you. You can make all the money that you want in the world and you can stay safe for the long haul. The fourth skill that you need to actually prevent accidents is going to be how to handle weather conditions, especially adverse weather conditions. Now this is something that can be scary and completely out of your control. But understanding when is the safe time to actually drive and the safe time just, just to pull over. You have to understand you as a driver are like the captain of the ship. You are in control of the safety and everyone around you. That being said, if all of a sudden you're driving and it turns into a snowstorm that you can't really drive in, maybe it's best just to pull over so you stay safe. It's okay if the load gets delayed. It's okay if all those things happen, but we want to make sure that you stay as safe as possible. Now, if you're a student here at Driving Academy, the cool thing about this is that we actually give you years of experience of weather adverse driving and a few days of training with our simulators. So this is an example of what our simulator looks like and our students actually get this training included with everything else that we do offer because we want to be the best truck driving school around. We're not just here to make sure that you get a CDL license, we're here to make sure that you actually get an education that you need that will last you for a lifetime of education. So we can change things like make change the weather, make it snow, make it rain, make it fog, we can make the road super icy, we can pop one of your tires going down the street. So we can go through all these scenarios, so that means our students when they graduate actually have a lot more experience than the average individual and that's why it's so easy for our students to find a job coming right out of school. When I hear all these horror stories of people who can't find anything simply because they went to the wrong school that did not prepare them. So don't make that same mistake. Make sure you check out our website cdldrivingacademy.com and find a location near you. If you don't see anything near you, contact our Linden office. We're definitely able to help you out no matter where you are in the country. And for the final safety tip of this video, we're going to be talking about make sure that you have proper communication skills. So I'm not talking about like proper etiquette skills or emails or anything like that. I'm talking about communication for driving. So what does that mean? That means making sure that you are receiving communication from the vehicles around you and you're communicating with the vehicles around you as well is one aspect of it. So what do I mean? Turn signals, high beams, making sure that you're using your brake lights, making sure all your lights are working, uh, even honking the horn if necessary. But also on the other side of communication is communicating properly with your brokers or with your customers to make sure that they understand where you are so they don't have to be rushed or anything like that. Now of course anytime you're communicating with somebody outside of the truck, make sure you're using hands-free devices. Uh, make sure that you're doing it in a safe possible way because anytime you get distracted, the chances for accidents go through the roof. So you definitely want to avoid that as much as possible. I hope that this video helped you out. Now I gave you five different tips, there's so many more. If you want to know all the tips of actually getting a CDL license and being safe for the lifelong, then you want to become one of our students here at Driving Academy. We're the best truck driving school in the entire country and we're here dedicated to help you get on the road to freedom with your CDL license. We're going to help you out from start to finish. doesn't matter where you are. If you have your permit already, that's great. We can help you. If you don't have your permit, that's even more amazing. We can even help you too. 
If you have no experience or a lot of experience, we can help you get that CDL license and we have lifetime job placement available. We have locations that are about to open up nationwide. So check out our website to find a location near you, cdldrivingacademy.com. Again, cdldrivingacademy.com. And if there is no location near you, check out our website for the Linden location in New Jersey and they're able to help you out as long as you're living in this country, we can help you get a CDL license. So if you have any other questions, contact our team. We're definitely here to help you out and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really gonna help us out. Click on that button. And if you wanna continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.